guys, so I get questions about this all the time, so I figured I would do a video on this. This is just going to be, honestly, me talking to you guys. I don't have any notes written down or anything. Everything's going to be coming from my head and what I remember. So, my daughter is right here, if you hear anything. She's just chilling with me right now. You want to say hey, girl? Let's see. Here she goes. <laughs> So she's just chilling with me right now. But um, this video is gonna be about how to become a pharmacy technician um, without going to school. So what you do, um, this is for people that live in Alabama specifically. I'm honestly not sure about other states. There may be different requirements, but for Alabama, this is what you do as far as I know, as far as what I did two years ago and um, as up to date as I can remember. So um, you go to this website called Albop dot com i will try to have it listed um on the screen somewhere but it's called alabama border pharmacy dot com you go on there and you click on the link for pharmacy technicians and basically um you have to upload your id and um some form of basically some form of identification type in some information about yourself stuff like that create an account and um you don't um, need to have a criminal history. I don't believe anything like that. I honestly don't know about the criminal history stuff because I don't have a criminal history. But as far as I'm concerned, you're not supposed to have one. Then after you do that, you basically apply for your license. It'll walk you through the steps once you go on the website. You'll apply for your license. You'll get your license in the mail within that week. They're pretty fast. And um, after you receive your license, you go and find a job. You can apply to places like CVS, Walgreens, um, those kind of places do on-the-job training um, for a pharmacy technician. And basically what they're doing is they're going to train you on the job to, do, to become a certified pharmacy technician, like to pass your board certification test. Right now, I am studying for my test um, just to have it because it's a good thing to have. And um, I've gotten job offers for $18 an hour, $14 an hour. I started off at $9 an hour. So there's different pay rates that you can get. There is money in pharmacy. People are always gonna need drugs. So there you go with that. Um, people are always gonna need the prescriptions and medications. So that's what I did um, to find a job. Basically you call around and um, you know, just ask people, are they hiring? You fill out like applications. I know CVS is always hiring, Walgreens always hiring. Um, and then you're on the job training and you're a pharmacy technician. Once you get that license in the mail, you are now a licensed pharmacy technician. Um, even without the training, you still are a technician. The license is like, I believe, um, a hundred dollars i believe initially and i believe every even year you have to renew your license so um yeah if you lose your license you have to pay forty dollars they send you two licenses: one that you keep in your pocket if you're to go to another pharmacy and work and one that they hang at your pharmacy that you work at you know they hang that in the store so um that is how you become a pharmacy technician it's really simple um most of the jobs do have benefits i haven't seen one job that didn't have benefits they also pay decent pay okay. in my opinion the only thing is the hours are kind of crazy honestly um i've never had a job where you get set hours like a nine to five now they those jobs do exist but it's very rare. Most pharmacies are open Monday through Sunday. Well, at least CVS is. So that's kind of a con, I would say, because uh, who wants to be working every day? <laughs> like, who wants to not know a set schedule, basically? Um, but yeah, that is how you get your pharmacy technician license. I hope this video helped and hope I wasn't talking too fast. <laughs> and I'll see you guys on the next video.